opening faceoff is just seconds away. You just made it in time. With Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich, we are underway. Score! We have a score, and it's early. You want to score goals, you got to get to this area of the ice. Enzo, good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands and the shooter has a walk-in. You always hope if you're paying the price of admission as a home fan that your team scores first. In this case, it has. So far, they got their money's worth early in this game. Cooper Cole, scored by the Canucks up the wing, locked the puck. Boy, what reaction. He's got it again. Good work by Curry. Time of the goal. 25 seconds. Flings it. Possession taken up by Burry. Can't get a shot on. Gathered up by Yari Curry. Free puck off a defender. Skates out with it. Big shot. Locked it away. Collected in the corner. Skates to the corner. Great pressure. Into the corner. Out in front, a shot. Terrific stop, but it's loose. Shot on. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. You could see and feel the defensive players were just running out of gas. They were running around their own zone. You got to tip your helmet to the offensive players for that shift. They really had it coming. Allen's reflexes usually are able to catch up to something like this, but Eddie, that's a perfect shot. Really accurate, just off the inside of the post. The Canucks from the neutral zone start to work. Picks it up in his own end. Backhander to the net. Score! Oh, he had his choice and he decided to go to the backhand. Allen's positioning here is a little bit off. He's dropped into the butterfly, he's left some room on the angle, and he's beaten by it. Tad over five minutes have been played. The Canucks just keep building on that earlier lead. They're up now by three. Scored by number 20. Ran into the defense. He's lost it. The Blues recoiling back in their own end. Snapping a pass to Pareko. Puck is thrown to Schwartz. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. They score! That's four straight. Stamkos gave the goaltender no time to react with that quick snapshot. And so everybody's headed north. The puck turns around and heads south back towards the goal. The goalie just can't handle this shot. Goalie to the bench. Substitution made. Not much surprise here. The coach has clearly seen enough. And because he can't bench the whole team, what he's going to do is get his goaltender out of there and let him have a bit of a break. Vancouver's been by far the better team. I don't know that they could expect a much better start than this. They have dominated every portion of the game. Making progress at center. And he dumps it in. Out of his crease to take it. What'll he do with this? The Canucks with possession in center ice. On to San Luis. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. Oh, he staggered him. And the possession taken by Daniel Sedin. Loose pop, the defense was in the way. To Pareko.
Chooses the corner. Brings a shot. Great save in close. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Point to point to point. Perfect connection right through center. Shoots one. Shooting. The Canucks organizing back in their own end. Gets in. What will he do? And the puck is grabbed by Brazia. Gathered up again by Daniel Sedin. The Blues with possession in the defensive zone. Still has control up the wing. Enormous collision. Oh, you got to love that early hit, Doc. You get to the rink, you want to set a tone for your team if you can, and an early hit is one way to do it. Pinching it to Eric Stahl. Gains the zone. The breakaway. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Outlet up the middle to Bortuzzo. Looking to Brodzia. Nice work by Eric Stahl. The Canucks look to make a difference up the wing. Fires! Score! He's got his second of the game. When you're in that area of the ice, you're just looking to bang it home, and he did. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. And they take that neutral zone face off. Gets across, looks over his options. Caught loose, denied by the defense. Nearing the final minute. St. Louis on the move now on their own end. Last minute of play in the first period. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock held. St. Louis moving well as they go through the neutral zone. And that play is offside. Vancouver's offense is predicated by laying the body on the opponents. They've been more physical early. They have the game's only goals, too. Face-offs one. Let's it go. Off target. 20 minutes played in that first period, and a lot of goals scored, but just by one team. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. Admission is simply by donation, with all proceeds going to local charities. St. Louis has a lot to talk about during the intermission, and it shows on the scoreboard. They've got troubles, and the goaltender has even more, as you see from this example. We'll return after these words. First period has been played, second period about to start. A look ahead. Vancouver's up by a few, Doc, but I would have to think their coaching staff would want them to continue where they left off offensively in that first period. Period number two is underway in a bit of a lopsided game. Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking on. Vancouver's got a two-minute minor for slashing. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. The Blues go on the power play for the very first time. 
Let's see if they can capitalize. Shen's team is losing, and he is losing draws. Nicely into the zone. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Big face-off win. He can start some danger here. Snaps a wrister. Save. The Blues continue on at center. Big chance here. Outstanding save. We were looking for a red light there. Surprise. Onside. Scorches one. Oh, what a great shot down there. The Canucks see two up on the board against them for cross-checking. If the referee sees you lift your stick up with both hands and hit somebody with it, you're going to get a penalty. The Blues get a two-man advantage. It's not a long one, but it might be enough. Good job on the draw. Play to be made now by Ekman Larson. Moving it to Burry. All right, it's brought ahead and dumped back into the offensive zone. They can get the forwards off. Gathered in by Alex Petrangelo. And now it's directed to Pareko. Possession taken over by Pavel Burry. Score! A short-handed goal! team was way too aggressive they're not respecting the offensive push from the shorthanded team they make a pay hunts down in his butterfly a little early that opens up the top of the net and he gets beaten cleanly vancouver's hammered home yet another goal they've got a lot of shots and now they've got goals to show for their effort and they've won the neutral zone faceoff. you win that and you don't have to chase they chase you not a hard hit, but effective. It's lost. Three minutes, 35 seconds. Passing one off now to Buffalo. Vancouver's long penalty kill is over. Oh, what a stop. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Got his pad on that one. And another save there. Shutout positioning by Shen. Elevates a pass to Curry. What a reaction save. Skates out with it. Hands over to Puri. Chip to Pavel Puri. Pressure mounting here. Score! He completes the hat trick. out go to the backhand I think when he takes a look at this on video he's gonna see he was in really good position and he just wasn't able to stop a perfect shot the Canucks are threatening to run away with this game let's just see before the second period's over if there can be any kind of resistance Vancouver is in possession now as they move up the wing Robbery there Whistle and a rest. Quick work on the faceoff. Score! He's got his second. shot did not hit the goaltender because that thing was labeled. Hutton's out in position. He's just hoping this hits him. He's not able to move quick enough to make the stop. Vancouver's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. 
Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Holds in the corner. Blocked away. Making progress through the neutral zone. He's in! Directing that one to Henrik Sedin. At the front of the net. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Turn the wrist shot. To Sabotka. He gains the zone. Breakaway! Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. Vancouver's given a minor here for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. This power play is too predictable. They have to find a way to change it up. Absolutely. I think you're right, Eddie. Let's see what the team does here. The Blues win it. Carried to the corner by Sabotka. Let's it go. Sticked away. Well, that was hard to follow. Score! A goal on the power play. Looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Points in. And gathered in by Sake. Puck loose. Good defense in play. And the loose puck taken by Joe Sake. He scores! Can't stop in that puck with the quick release. The goalie's in perfect position here, just not perfect enough. This is a really accurate shot. The Canucks have a big advantage in time of possession, and it shows in the score. They've won the faceoff. That puck's loose. Good defense. Pass attempt to Burry. And by number 20. Perfect. He scores. A pair of goals by the same team. Especially in the offensive zone. If you want to isolate a defender, you got to get people moving over to the puck carrier to give him more options. That's exactly what happened on this play. Enzo, good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk-in. Vancouver has been able to build a huge lead based on having the puck more often. Neutralized face-off win. By number 17. Point blast! What a shot, but a great answer with the club. A shot. Score! Another goal! become a default position for the goaltender, Enzo. And while the shot is nice, he's down in that butterfly position way too quick. The Canucks have built an enormous lead and some wonderful confidence here. The coach probably won't have to say much at the end of this second period. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Looking from the corner.
A shot. Score! What a tremendous night for him. You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. Well, he can't get his pad down quick enough to make this stop. Really good shot, as you mentioned, Eddie. I think that's one he should probably stop. Vancouver's getting a larger and larger lead as the second period gets shorter and shorter. And a full third period and a chance to enlarge. The Canucks control the play along the board. Assisted by number 23, Oliver Ekman. To Steen. Enormous hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Step, he scores! You get this close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you gotta snap it quick. Really good positioning, he's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered, but there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. Canucks have built a tremendous lead and also built some wonderful confidence. What will they say in the second intermission? Probably not much. Vancouver's looking to head man up the wing. Right up, he scores! Think about it. At some point, the puck's got to get through the middle of the ice, the area in between the two face-off dots. If you get there, you're going to get rewarded. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. The Canucks have built a tremendous lead here in the second period. Not a lot of time left, but an entire third ahead. Perhaps they can enlarge it even more. Terrific point blank save. The goalie makes himself look big. Ranks one, and that one he just got his glove on. Dominance right now. Point blank shot. Gloved. Now that's a quick glove. And the period comes to a close. Wow, what a finish. When your team wins, you win $10 off at Bob's. Bring tonight's ticket to any local Bob's sporting goods for a coupon that's good for $10 off your next purchase of $50 or more. Tickets must be redeemed within The Blues were counting on a tremendous performance in goal. They counted wrong. More in a moment. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Canucks have had their way the first 40 minutes of play pretty much in every category possible, most importantly with this real comfortable lead. Do they sit on it or look to add to it here in the third? Wow, he slowed him right down there. Loose puck gathered by Shen. Slid to Petrangelo. Wanting to generate something up the wing. Knocked off. Propelled to Pavel Burry. Gains the zone. Shot. Score! Pavel Burry!
goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with a quick release. The goaltender looked pretty surprised here, Edzo. Good delivery of the puck beats him on the low stick side. Vancouver's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. By number 10, Pavel Bure, assisted by number 11. Shot! Score! What a phenomenal night for this guy. You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. His technique is good. The butterfly is really solid. He just gets beaten with a better shot here. Vancouver's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. And that's a face-off win. By number 10. Wonderful block. Oh, and what a tremendous job of keeping the puck alive. Trying to go to Robotov. Nicely into the zone. Gathered up again by Robotov. Pink drive. Collected by Joe Sackett. Puck loose now picked up. Pitching this one to Joe Sackett. He's alone. Great save. Shutting down one of the best. Corralled by Sackett. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. You get this close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you gotta snap it quick. And so he's in good position here, but the shooter's known to be a real accurate shooter. He doesn't have much room and he doesn't miss it. Under seven minutes have transpired in the third. Do you think the ice is tilted in this one? Players are tumbling head over heels into the boards. Played on to Daniel Sedin. And play is stopped for a penalty. Daniel Sedin's penalized two minutes for slashing. I'm not sure this is a slashing call. I think it was the reaction of the puck carrier that sold this call. A power play that can generate goals is special. And this one has been. Let's see if it continues. Berglund's team is down, and that faceoff didn't help. Gains the blue line. He's in! That's a marvelous save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. I think it's time we hear from Ray Ferraro. This is one of the game's great problems. When you score so many goals, your arms get tired raising them up and down. He's been impossible to miss out there, Ray. St. Louis in possession as they travel in their own end. Whistle blown, play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. The Canucks get two minutes up on the penalty clock for interference. You got to play with controlled emotion. You can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have the puck. The Blues are presented with a great opportunity here. It's a long five on three. Vancouver Vancouver's got a face-off win. Just threw it into his pad there. Eight minutes, 42 seconds. Clean win on the draw. Vancouver's in possession as they travel in their own end. 
trying for it. Snapped out of the air. Face off win here. What a terrific save. Good clean win on the draw. That one caught iron. Point blast. Big drive. Blocked. Collected in the corner. Back to the point. Slaps it to Daniel. No! Gotta get it on net. You're not gonna get many chances right from there. You gotta hit the net. He just misses wide. Vancouver's got that win. St. Louis in their own end controlling the play. Snapping a pass to Tarasenko. St. Louis had an earlier power play goal, not this time. Not only did they kill the penalty, but they were the more aggressive team, even shorthanded. They had a couple of plays where they could have scored. Right in front. Wow, what a glove save. Boom Easter's cut through the neutral zone. Shoots. Missed on the shot. Fires. And a save. The Canucks have control of the puck in the defensive zone. Pavel Burry's looking to make a play from his own end towards center. Moves to the corner. On to Yari Curry. Possession gained by Brodziak. Still dawdling back in the defensive zone. Gets in. What'll he do? Shoots. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Icing waved off thanks to the hustle by Daniel Sedin. Stays on side to the middle. St. Louis in possession, moving it up the wing. Into the end of attack. Roped in by Dustin Bufflin. Vancouver's in control of the puck up the wing. He's alone! Off the goal post! Well, that's about the best chance you're going to get in the game. In alone, clear. Excellent shot. It just doesn't get the bounce and go in. He is shut right off. Bufflin's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notice. Heads to the front. He scores! Daniel Sedin's body position was key to be able to snap this one home. The video will reveal here that the goaltender was in excellent position. Sometimes the shot is just so perfect, it's unstoppable. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Gets in, looks over his options here. Score! He's got his second! shot did not hit the goaltender because that thing was labeled. Low stick side used to be an area that you shot all the time, but now that the goaltenders are in the butterfly, it's not as easy to beat, but this one goes through them pretty quickly. They've got the draw. Puck is thrown to Schwartz. He lost it down to a knee. Vancouver is on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. Has it back deep. To Berglund. Perfect passing right through center. Pitching it to Schwartz. Shot on. Save. Well, 
we are late in this contest, but when you see them, you call them. And that's what they've done here. Subban's got two minutes for interference. You got to be in control. You just can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have a puck. The Shens come up short on another draw. His team has two. The Canucks lug that along up the wing. That puck's loose, deflected away by Alex Petrangelo. The game is over. It was a big score, a victory, and a decisive amount of time that the winners had the puck. The coaching staff has to be extremely pleased with the energy and effort that their team played with. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone.